and it was very painful for me and the family to go through this, knowing what type of son that we had raised. So I'm here today to express my feelings, and and it's not in a way of, of hatred, basically because the way that I was raised and brought up, that we have to respect one another. But I do want justice to be served today and and that the ex-officer get the full penalty of the law. All right, this court is now in session. We have a judge Joe Marks presiding. Good afternoon, folks. Everybody have a seat. Because the prior court refused to grant a motion for bill of particulars, ordering the state to specify with precision what their theory was and what specific acts constituted each specific crime, we now have a situation where, according to the verdict form and the state's pleadings, both crimes were committed during the second volley, one episode. Your Honor, these are legally and factually inconsistent charges and proof, and because both acts occurred at the same time, it is our position that the state, the court cannot sentence the defendant to both counts. By language in the probable cause affidavit and by... Judge, he was shooting at someone shooting at Corey, when he himself, the defendant himself, said, I saw him drop his gun somewhere behind the car, but yet he continued to shoot. He continued to shoot. He knew Corey was not armed. Judge, we're asking this court to take into account the manner in which Corey was killed. This has been a heartbreaking case. I think it's had a profound effect on every single person that has sat through this trial, including very experienced lawyers who this is not their first rodeo. I can't put my finger on it. I can't tell you exactly why. But as the judge who's been a judge for 16 years and a prosecutor and sat in every seat in this courtroom, this case had a profound effect upon me. And uh, I'm hoping that um, going forward that people can have some peace in their lives. And and I, I know for the Raja family, that's in some ways, uh, impossible. All right. So, Mr. Lubin, would you like to call a witness? You take your time, sir. As I've already adjudicated, Mr. Raja, previously um, on count one, I hereby sentence him uh, to 25 years in the Department of Corrections. And on count two, I hereby sentence Mr. Raja to 25 years in the Department of Corrections. That is as a minimum mandatory, which requires that he serve day for day. Those sentences will run concurrently. 